Could one of the greatest threats to Earth sit in the solar system? We're talking about solar flares, and scientists say a large enough solar storm or flare could pose a significant problem for Earth. Dr. Alex Young, a solar physicist with NASA, joins us now to talk space weather. So this is, a, a, is truly an out-of-this-world topic to talk about. Can you talk about a solar storm, what it could mean for us here on Earth? Because it, it's not like a rainstorm that we expect, right? Right, so the sun puts out huge amounts of energy. Uh, one way is in the form of a blast of light. We call that a solar flare. But the other one is called a coronal mass ejection, and that's when the sun burps out billions of tons of material and magnetic field. Both of those travel to the Earth. The solar flare takes eight minutes, but the other one takes a couple of days. When the solar flare hits the Earth's atmosphere, it heats it up, it disrupts communication, but then the bigger part that comes along afterwards, this coronal mass ejection, kind of like a big wave or even a hurricane through the solar system, hits the Earth, hits our magnetic field, disrupts it, creates electrical currents which disrupt power grids, communication, and both of these can create radiation which is dangerous to astronauts in space. So that's the, the key, some of the key areas we're interested in understanding. What other kind of impacts though could it have? Affecting power grids, obviously, what about GPS? Right, so it disrupts the upper atmosphere where we send signals for GPS communication to airplanes, to ships, even for the military. So it's very important that we understand all of these various areas of communication because it impacts both us from the, on the daily side as well as people in airline industry, the military, uh, and navigation with ships. What is the government doing to understand these solar storms and how it would impact us, and how often do they happen? Well, they happen uh, with a cycle, much like you have a hurricane cycle, which is a yearly cycle. We have an 11-year cycle where we go from low, high, back down to low. And we're coming down towards the lower end of the cycle, but we can still have solar storms uh, any time. Now, the government uh, works with several other agencies. NASA does all of the research. We put up the spacecraft to do the studying. But then uh, NOAA does the predictions, and together we work with the industry to do this for the, for the, for the nation.